<laughs> Has there ever been a more suitable title for a vegan day of eating? What I eat in a day as a vegan actor. They put it right in front of your faces. It's an act. It's a lie. I am acting for you. I'm a vegan actor. And the reason people don't see this is because they're so brainwashed between the modern media and the poison in their food every day. Uh, so let's see if this young lady uh, can hypnotize us into a vegan diet while wearing a chain around her neck with a lock as well as a leopard print shirt. But I really want to show you what I typically eat in a day. What I 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 eat in a day. Hey guys, it's Madeline. Hello. It is very pink in here. I just woke up. I'm not that great at spotting plastic surgery, but I mean, clearly like hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars have worked onto her face. And and these vegans are misleading about everything. You know, they're not going to tell you you have to spend, you know, $5,000 a month in lip fillers to look good on a vegan diet. And did my skincare routine. That's why there is yet another pimple dot on my chin that you can kind of not see because I picked one that was skin colored. Did not plan for it to be raining outside when I shot this video. Yay. We're gonna talk about what I eat in a day. It's like something that I'm very nervous about doing because at the end of the day, it's like this is just truly what works for me. I do go through phases of what I like to eat. This is just like what I'm eating right now. I have a plant-based diet. I've been plant-based my whole life. Enough to She's reading the script, the, the vegan script. It's all the same. Most importantly, I like to start my day like every other YouTuber on the planet. A huge glass of water. All I want to do is get back in bed and make pancakes, but I really want to show you what I typically eat in a day. I think it's time to do it because I have no other. There's no way this girl with as much money as she has, as famous as she has, ever cooks her meals for herself, ever. There's no way. So I don't know what they're paying her to do this. I don't know if it's part of the sell your soul contract you sign when you join Hollywood that you just do whatever they say. Maybe. <laughs> Bitch, go make some coffee. How do I become a morning person? Bonk. Let's make some coffee. One of my most stunning creations of the day. Alright, well, I just did a little bit of... We've done a video on coffee, and there is a concern with caffeine and adrenal fatigue, adrenal stress. And and for most people, coffee might be okay, but as with all foods, you want to go organic, remove the agrochemical concerns. You want to get the highest quality beans possible, grind them fresh. And then if you do add a sweetener or something, you know, some type of fat source like creamer, you want to make sure that's high quality as well. So like raw grass-fed milk, raw grass-fed heavy cream, raw organic honey maybe you know we have the nature's glucose available on frankie's free range foods go as high quality as possible with every ingredient not what she's doing you know she has a pre-ground coffee mix she has stevia she has some almond crap creamer it's all processed chemical garbage of work on my computer and drink my coffee we're going to make breakfast and i have therapy after this which i'm very excited for hopefully it doesn't inspire me Bonk. and then i'm gonna go to the of course gym she goes to therapy work. i definitely have to make like an active effort to eat healthy fats because i don't really incorporate it well into my diet and i'm not in the mood for avocado toast this morning although i do love to eat that sometimes so i'm gonna have a spoonful of coconut oil with my breakfast it's kind of disgusting but it's what my nutritionist told me to do mm, delicious she should hire me as her nutritionist uh, coconut oil, I haven't actually done a video on it yet, but it's one of the, I guess, lesser evils of plant foods. You know, high quality organic coconut products are actually pretty good for you. They offer caloric energy. They don't have imbalanced nutrients or vitamins. That being said, for the most part, you know, coconut is a healthy, low inflammatory source of caloric energy for most people. It's not going to get you, you know, your B vitamins, your omega fatty acids, fat soluble vitamins, things you're missing on a vegan diet specifically. 
You will need some instant oatmeal. This one has no added sugar. A banana, frozen blueberries, more almond milk. I truly just love oatmeal so much. I think it's so delicious. Anyway, you've all made oatmeal before. Oh, I wasn't gonna microwave it today. Okay, well, I usually cook it on the stove, but it's already When I eat cereal, I like my milk to just coat the cereal, and I feel the same way about my oatmeal. And then I just pour some frozen blueberries in there and put it in the microwave for a minute now. I am lazy, so I cut it in the peel. So yummy. That was like almost healthy. She's got some organic blueberries. I think the oatmeal was organic. That almond milk, not sure. Probably, you know, the worst thing in this meal. And she used the microwave. So that could almost be healthy, hypothetically, if every single ingredient was organic, if she was using some type of, you know, maybe even just water as opposed to the almond drink poison. And of course, not using the microwave to, you know, radiate herself and the food. It was close to being a decent source of caloric energy. Again, no actual nutrients. Sometimes I start my day with celery juice. I did that a lot in LA and I just haven't gotten into it here yet. I'm sure I'll do an update of what I eat in a day once I've really gotten into my routine here. I've only been here for like a month. I just enjoy kind of the ritualistic aspect of it. I'm actually going to... These people do all types of ritualistic stuff. I mean, a girl in a black dress wearing red hair, I wouldn't trust her with anything, but... <laughs> Celery juice is something else I have yet to talk about. If you take any sort of high water, like volume plant, cucumber, celery, even just greens, and you juice them, whatever that plant was grown in the soil, the water quality, that's going to be in the plant. So chances are when you drink celery juice in the morning, all you're doing is dousing your stomach with agrochemicals, antibiotics, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, fluoride, chlorine, who knows what make my salad for later right now any kind of breaded chicken burger you can also go without the breading pan so to start off i'm obsessed with lucinato kale it is my favorite kind of kale it's also referred to as dinosaur kale brand new fresh kale it's super crispy Bonk. One bunch of lucinato kale, another boxed green like a baby kale or spinach or something like that, and some balsamic vinegar. Break up. Yeah, I need to stop. I always wash my vegetables before they go in my refrigerator, so it makes it easier for me to grab and go. I'm not gonna get my little. So your vegetables are probably grown in human crap and then you wash them in unfiltered fluoride, chlorine water. It doesn't make any sense. These people have no understanding of health. This came with the house. I don't usually get plastic. Break all of this up into tiny. Oh, she doesn't use plastic, but she'll rinse her vegetables in unfiltered water. Tiny little pieces. About three fourths of this full, and then I'm just gonna grab about a handful of this. Drizzle it and the chicken burgers, the plant based burgers are actually done. Look at that. This looks absolutely disgusting. First thing in the morning. I will enjoy it later. So we're just going to cut these up. I've always been excited about salads because I'm a sick I'm going to bring that with me to work later. And now for the worst part of the day. Bottoms up. She is literally eating tablespoons of coconut oil for caloric energy because her diet is is so lacking calories now that salad doesn't really have anything to offer she's probably not going to digest most of it i doubt she actually eats those crappy chicken burgers every day with how many processed chemicals usually soy based a lot of anti-nutrients high omega-6 very oxidized especially because she pan seared it in a non-stick pan i mean you could not make an unhealthier food than these like mock plant-based burgers the concern with consuming large amounts of green vegetables, you know, people tend to get high liver enzymes and thyroid dysfunction if they consume them more than like once or twice a day, especially when they juice them. Oh. Editing this made me realize it's 7.30 and I haven't had my coconut oil yet. That's so gross. It's actually delicious, it's just that texture is disgusting. 
I'll see you when lunchtime happens. One outfit change and workout later. Hello again. It's been a day and it's like 11.30 a.m. I had therapy this morning. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but between the, the, the thing on her chin she has and the gloss, it looks like someone just busted on her face. But I had a bit of an emotional morning, but that's okay. I went to the gym. I do typically order my smoothie every day. I know it's lazy. But I ended up with two for some reason today. I don't know why. So I have my usual, which is blueberry thrill. We know you order everything. Protein. Problem. The blueberry thrill is just blueberries. I do no date almond butter some kind of protein I choose clean vegan protein and almond milk. I think Bonk. I don't believe in calorie counting if anything look at calories to make sure I'm getting enough listening to your body is so important I try not to be too hard on myself It's been a day Thank you Of course all these vegans have pets which they are hopefully feeding meat one thing that you know vegans always talk about is how the carotene and the vitamin A in plant foods isn't toxic because you know your body doesn't absorb all of it but you know consuming these really 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 colorful fruits and vegetables all day every day I think more research has to be done because there's definitely a carotene overload concern I've seen it in a lot of my clients that have been former vegans so you know they might be healthier eating uh eating more grain based and you know, starchier, plainer foods. You just make my world so much better. Wow, look at this great little spot I found. This is fantastic. So I think I'm gonna need another bevy for the row. There's a moment in time where I wish I could just ask the universe, do I want a hot coffee or a cold coffee? Bonk. If I have my way, I wouldn't drink Starbucks. There are drive throughs in Vancouver and that makes my life so much easier. There is a yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I guess. So she's in Vancouver. She's gotten the hint to escape the nonsense that's in the United States. And, of course, she's going for another coffee. Uh, you guys remember that vegan girl I went out with last year that drank, like, seven or eight espressos every day? They need the caffeine to keep them going. Lack of B vitamins in your diet, lack of energy metabolism. You guys will see what I got. Hi, is it possible for me to just get a 16-ounce cold brew, please? Okay, it's much later. We're going to ignore this giant pimple dot on my chin. I'm about to eat my salad, so I figured we'd hang out for a second. It smells delicious. It's kind of cute how, like, the clips in her hair match the thing on her chin. Come in. I look crazy right now. This is literally just what I need to... I have, like, 15 minutes to eat this before I have to go set. I didn't plan on making this a what I eat in a day on set. I was going to shoot this yesterday, but then I had a bit of an emotional breakdown. I only have one scene today. If I was at work all day, I would eat different stuff. Delicious. I wouldn't say I'm going to have this home screen for the rest of my life, but look at how pretty it is. Well, while we're here, I did also bring myself a little booch. I love kombucha. I probably drink about one a day. Not every day, but I do like drinking it a lot. Kombucha is healthy soda. I'll see you when I eat again. The liquid volume in these vegan diets, yeah, definitely a agrochemical concern, even more than the food. You know, when you're drinking all this coffee, all these smoothies, all this stuff all day, every day, kombucha. Yeah. Hello, I'm home. Time for me to make a very quick dinner. It's way too late. I'm gonna make a very classic modeling dinner. It's not anything that crazy. Do you want some cuddles? Come here. I love you. I love you so much. Okay. I love this dinner so much. It's so tasty. It's fairly healthy. It makes me feel like I'm eating a treat. It's basically like my version of vegan mac and cheese with protein pasta. <laughs> really? I like protein pasta because it just makes me feel better about my pasta addiction. This is the Modern Table Spirals made out of red lentils. Red lentil flour, white rice, and pea protein. The white rice is interesting. The white rice is interesting. The white rice. <gasps> The white rice is in <laughs> What? The, the dog's telling her to stop eating that crap and to eat some meat. I get curious that these vegans start avoiding gluten and wheat pastas. And I think it's because the vegan diet destroys their gut so much that they can no longer tolerate like normal food sources. Could also be that they're not buying like organic high quality wheat. We're gonna make this and I'm gonna show you my sauce recipe as well. What do you want? 
Bye. For this, you will need. There is no way a classic like durum wheat organic semolina pasta plus a regular tomato sauce is more inflammatory than what she's eating right now. The lentils, the peas, the rice, it's not organic. There's so many chemicals in that pasta she's having. Nothing's organic. That diet, dairy-free cheese nonsense. She would be so much better off just having some plain, you know, jarred tomato sauce puree with some plain wheat pasta. I'm sure it would be easier on her stomach. Broccoli, but also a bell pepper. Lily thinks this is not a side dish, but I think a bell pepper is a side dish. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love bell peppers so much that I will just eat them raw. Hot, pan, heat, you get the drill. I think I eat about half a box. It's kind of a lot, but whatever. I measure by how full the bowl is. Half full is usually what I like to go with. Not half empty. And that's ready to go in the hot water when it's boiled. Cutting board. Another pan for the sauce. One spoon. No. I'm gonna go put this in the wash right back. I use about half a bottle of the sauce, which would be 250 milliliters. Pasta is officially in. Pasta sauce. We're gonna add some more ingredients. Now for the fun part, broccoli. This much broccoli. I'm gonna cut all of the stems off and then just break it apart. Not too small, but small enough to eat. I'm literally like your crazy aunt that comes to town and is like telling you you should eat more vegetables. Then this bee proceeded to eat an entire bell pepper. When you have food habits like that, it's usually specific nutrient cravings or there's some kind of compound in the food that can kind of mask what you're missing. I have about 10 bell peppers in my fridge at all times. Yesterday, I cut up a cantaloupe. So I imagine I'll probably have that for dessert. Mm-hmm. All done. Look at how delicious. Oh my god. It's just really hot right now. This is probably like my fourth of these waters. I'm gonna fill it up right now. I don't know how this combination literally tastes like straight up mac and cheese. My anxiety gets worse the more I see the camera battery to flash. A few hours later, she went for the cantaloupe. I mean, you know, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, especially when it's on YouTube with millions of views coming from these celebrities. This could just be a sponsored video. She might be eating steak every day. What I can say is that uh, it's very unlikely that she's not eating completely organic, high quality foods. And, and her meal plan definitely includes some supplements that she didn't show here. Yeah, you know, she, she's got to be under the advice of at least several intelligent people i would assume overall you know she might look good now temporarily with all these surgeries and makeup and that type of stuff but if she follows this diet for a few more years things are going to go downhill very quickly that being said as we just mentioned she probably isn't actually following this diet so there's really nothing to worry about we just want to point out the deception why this diet isn't actually healthy and and how these people are likely putting on an act as she mentioned several times through the video, she's an actor. The title of the video is Vegan Actor. Don't trust them. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know how you like this uh, and uh, what videos you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I will see you for tomorrow's video as always.